Okay. So, let's go ahead and continue this. Again, remember, we're given this table with this given information. Let's use it to answer the examples here, all right? Again, they want the derivative of Q. We need to be able to find it first, right? So, let's go ahead and try that. So, Q prime of X is going to equal, what's the derivative of this first part? What do you think we would get there for the derivative? Two. Very good. So 2 times f prime of x minus 4 times g prime of x, right? We didn't have to use product rule here. We just had to find the derivative of each part, right? Okay? Now we need to do what with that 4? Plug in the 4, right? So we want q prime of 4. So 2 times f prime of 4 minus 4 times g prime of 4. Can we figure out what those two values are? Where would I get that information from? From the table. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to go to f prime, I'm going to go to 4, and I'm going to find where they cross, which is at what? 2. So this is 2 times 2 minus 4 times, what's g prime at 4? Negative 3. So together that gives me a value of 4 plus 12 is what? 16? Was that easy? Not too bad, right? Okay, let's try the next one. What do we have to do there? <coughs> Find the derivative, right? We want p prime of 3. In order to do that, we need to know the derivative first. So let's figure out the derivative of p of x. What do you notice that it is, though? It's the product, right? Is it the product of two functions? Yes. So let's keep that negative 2 together with this first one, and then this will be the second one. Right? So how do I find the product of two functions? Derivative of the first. So what's the derivative of this guy here? Negative 2, f prime of x times the second, which is g of x, plus the first, which is negative 2 f of x, times derivative of the second, which is g prime, right? Okay, so we got our derivative already. Now we just have to evaluate it, right? We have to plug in the number. So plug in 3. So we want p prime of 3, negative 2 f prime of 3, g of 3, minus 2 f of 3 g prime of 3. Can I figure out what all those uh, individual terms are? And replace them with the numbers. Okay, so what's f prime at 3? Negative 4. Negative 4, good. What's g of 3? <laughs> Negative 3. We have all that times negative 2, right? Okay. And we have minus 2. What's f of 3? Beautiful. And what's g prime of 3? 2. Awesome. You know how to read the table. Okay. There's going to be problems exactly like this on the AP test. They don't give you any functions. They don't give you anything. They just give you a table of information. you got to use it. Okay? There's going to be problems like the one before, where they give you a graph, right? And you have to use those graphs. That's what we're trying to prepare you for. All right, now let's just work it out. So this gives me positive 8 times negative 3. Negative 24. Positive 4 times 2. Positive 8. So together we end up with... Negative 16, right? Different signs, you subtract and keep the sign of the larger. 24 minus 8 is 16, that one's bigger. Papitas? Alright, what does the next one want? So here we want the full blown equation, right? So how do I find the equation of a tangent line? What are the two things we need? Very good, so we need a point. So let's find that first before we get mixed up, right? We know the x, negative 1, we need the y. 
how can I find the y? Plug it into the equation, right? So before I mess with this equation, I'm going to do this. Actually, we want v of negative 1, right? So negative 1 to the third times f of negative 1. And then? We don't use the graph or the table? Um, yeah, the table. Yeah, we need to use the table. Wouldn't it be 2? Which one would be 2? We can't determine the y because the table doesn't tell me v. Oh, okay. yeah. right? The table tells me f and g, right? So that's why I'm using it. So what's f of negative 1? 2? Two. Two? Yeah. Alright, so we put a 2 here, but we need to multiply that with this. What's negative 1 to the third? Negative 1, so in reality it's negative 2. Okay, so be careful. They're not telling us anything about v in the original table up there. Alright, are we done? Yep. No. We need the slope of the tangent line. What gives us that? The derivative. Derivative. Do I have a derivative? Mm -hmm. No. Man, we need to find it. So let's do it. What's the derivative of v? Is it the product of two functions? One times something else? So we need to do the product rule, okay? Good. So perform the product rule and let's see what we end up with. Derivative of the first. What's the derivative of x to the third? 3x squared. Times the second f of x. Plus the first x to the third times the derivative of the second f prime of x. Alright. Now we're ready to go. We need to plug in what number now? Negative 1. So we want v prime of negative 1. That's going to be 3 times negative 1 squared times f of negative 1 plus negative 1 cubed times f prime of negative 1. Well, where would that, that end up taking? What's f of negative 1? 2. What's negative 1 squared? 1, bring down the 3. Negative 1 to the third? Negative 1. What's f prime of negative 1? 4. Okay, so that gives me 3 times 2 is what? 6 minus 1 equals 5. So we have our slope now. Can I write my equation of the tangent line? What's it going to be? 5 plus 2 equals 5 times plus 1. Papitas? One more? <coughs> the last one, okay? If k of x equals 2f of x plus 3 times 3 minus g of x, what is the value of k prime of 3? Again, in order to answer the question, we have to find the derivative. Yes, Blanca? Good. So what would be my derivative there? How do you want to do it? Do you want to expand it or do you want to do the product rule? Or can we do the product rule? Can we do the product rule? You don't know? You need to know. When do we do the product rule? When there's two things that are being what? Multiplied, right? Are we multiplying two things? Yes. So let's do the product rule, okay? So. Derivative of the first, what would be the derivative of this guy? 2f prime of x. Okay. Times the second, 3 minus g of x. Plus the first, 2f of x plus 3 times the derivative of the second. What's the derivative of that one going to be? Negative g prime of x. Very good. What happened to the 3? It's 0, right? The derivative of a constant is 0. The slope of a horizontal line is 0, right? Good. Okay, are we finished? Almost, right? All we have to do is plug in a what? A 3. So now let's find k prime of 3. Here we go. 2 times f prime of 3 
times 3 minus g of 3 plus parenthesis 2f of 3 plus 3 times negative g prime of 3. And now we just need to replace what we can with what we know. Be careful on your notation. One little prime that you miss or something, mess the whole thing up. So, what's f prime of 3? Negative 4. Okay, times 2. And then in here, in this parentheses, we're going to have 3 minus, what's g of 3? Negative 3. Plus 2 times, what's f of 3? Negative 2 plus 3, close that in, in parentheses. Times negative, what's g prime of 3? 2, so negative 2. It was 2 times a negative makes it negative 2, are we okay? Alright, so now what, do we, what is it that we look at first here? Multiplication? Okay. Yes, yeah, so we do parentheses first, right? So 3 minus negative 3, that becomes 3 plus 3, that's what? 6, now we can multiply, so 6 times this times this is how much? Negative 48? Good. Alright. Negative 2 times 2 is what? Negative 4 plus 3? Negative 1 times negative 2? Positive 2? So negative 48 plus 2 is negative 46. Are we done? Not too bad, right? Okay, different ways that the questions could be presented. Right? Every year they come out either in a table like this and they'll ask you how to do things. They'll give you some graphs and they'll ask you to do things. Or they'll be straight up and give you functions and then they ask you to do things with them. Okay? So you've got to be able to work with the different representations. And you've got to know how to find derivatives and how to find equations of tangent lines. How to find equations of normal lines. How to find slopes of normal lines, slopes of tangent lines. So be ready for it, okay? Sounds good? All right, so I'm going to give you the second part of that assignment, and you can work on it. Those will be questions that are similar to what we just did. And then I'll also give you the review for the midterm, and you can work on that for the rest of the book. Is this going to be on the midterm? This will be on the midterm, yes. Okay?